Yo, what's good YouTube? Gabriel say aka the truth checking in and if you want those dangerous lats, you, you want that cobra back, then this is the exercise for you. Let's talk about setup. So when you're doing most, well, pretty much every pull movement, you don't want to use your thumb. You don't want to wrap your thumb around it. It brings the forearm, in, forearm into it. You want a loose grip. You want your fingers to be like hooks. And that's with every pulling movement. Now this puts a lot more emphasis on the back. So when you're setting up for this, some people like to put one knee on the bench. Personally, I don't. You can either do a standard stance or you can do a split stance. When you're rowing this, you're rowing it fist to hip. So you're bringing your fist to your hip. Coming out, bringing your fist to your hip. I see a lot of people bringing it up high, you know, like to their chest, and that's not working the lower lats, which gives you that cobra back. So it's fist to hip for one, and you're pulling through the elbows. Now, the only way that I could probably explain this, imagine you have someone tie some string, you know, you tie some string to your elbow and they're, they're pulling you like a puppet. That's how it should fit. You wanna, you wanna be pulling through the elbow, not the hand, pulling through the elbow. Common mistake that people make when they're bringing it in and like coming to the top of the movement is that they twist their spine as if they're casting for like the exorcist or something. And, and the problem with this is the emphasis has now left your back and it's now gone into something else, which I don't even know, but I can't feel it in my back. So instead, what you wanna do is you wanna pull it in towards you, pull it to your hip and you're squeezing the back. The best way to explain this is as you're pulling up, lift your chest up. Lift your chest up, don't rotate, just lift your chest up and squeeze your lats. You will feel it 10 times more, trust me. So the twisting, it might make it seem like you're completing the movement. The same with the deadlift, the hyperextension may feel like you're completing the movement, but that's not what it is. It's all about squeezing the target muscle. But that is it. Simple, nice and simple, few little tweaks, and I guarantee you'll have that Cobra back in no time. But until next time, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Like the video because it really helps me out. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Make sure you share this with the world. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, be true, lift big, and stay swole.